What's up guys? Today I'm going to be showing you all a, well, basically everything in the new Blocks Roots update, the new Christmas update. Um, I wish I could show you it all, but I can't really show you everything in the Christmas update. But I'm going to be showing you basically everything. <laughs> I don't know how to explain it. Okay, so they added one new fruit. It's the dragon fruit. It's basically the third, because there's not many beast type of fruits or the zoan, however you want to call it. It's the most expensive fruit at the moment. It costs two thousand six hundred with Robux. Pretty sure it hasn't been in the stock since it came out, so I don't know how much it actually costs. But yeah, um, I'm gonna I'm I've been doing a lot of things like a lot of fruit hunting, just so that I can give you guys a um showcase of it. So uh, yeah, um, some other new things that came into this update are candies candies are a new thing in this update with candies you can do a lot of things like if you come over here this is the new world if you didn't know by the way so if you can't find this in the old world that's why so if you come to a blocks deal blocks fruit dealers cousin right now i only have 394 candies i used to have like over 2000 but i haven't farmed candy since then and I've just been buying a lot of things. So you can buy random fruits with these candies. You Every time that you buy a random fruit, you have to wait two more hours to buy another. Um, you can also come to this magic elf. All of these things, except for... Uh, all of the candy things, except for obviously the fragment one, is in the old world too, so you don't have to worry about that. Uh, you can buy race reroll, you can buy stats refund, and 2 times XP. Pretty sure that all of these are 100 candies too. I'm gonna be doing some fruit giveaways in my Discord server. So, yeah. I'm gonna be doing fruit giveaways. If I find a good fruit from a candy. Since I'm also gonna buy a new private server today. Uh, this isn't my private server, this is one of my friends. But, if you come over here, there's another candy shop here. You can buy the elf hat, the santa hat, and the sleigh. I don't have any of those. Uh, that's just because I haven't been... I just don't want those. Like, the sleigh, I already have fast boats, the game pass. And that's a lot better than the sleigh. So we don't have to I don't have to worry about that much. And there's one more one more candy shop I'm pretty sure. These are the only candy shops over at the um raid lab. Yeah, over at the raid lab there's another candy shop that you can get. Whilst I am getting over there, they added, since I'm also going to be over there, they added one new awakening. They added the string awakening. I'm also going to be trying to get that, my string awakened. If I can get string, I'm going to try to get that so that I can do a showcase on that. Uh, yeah. Let me just come over here, jump down, okay here, here we go. So like always the code is the, still the same since every single update, red, blue, green, then blue, same code as always, then you come over here, this door is opened. You can either just use, uh, since I have fast mode on, it's hard to see, but there's a staircase somewhere around here. Yeah, the staircase is, yeah, you see it's basically invisible whenever you have fast mode on. 
but I'm just gonna fly up here. Uh, yeah, over here. Let me just grab all these chests, because right now, as you can see, kind of pouring money and fragments. Fragments because I bought one of the new things in the update. So, with this you can buy fragments. 500 fragments for 40 candies and 1500 fragments for 100 candies it's pretty good and you're gonna have to use those candies for uh, something new for some other new stuff so as you can see flame ice like always quake light dark and string string is the new awakening now if let me just reset my character now let me just do come over here and let me just come over here and show you guys the other the yeah pretty much the last new stuff for this update I'm pretty sure yeah the yeah, there's nothing other than this last thing that I'm about to show you. So, if you come from the snow island, like, you just come directly, you're gonna see the, you know, the Blackbeard race. Uh, raid, I mean. The Blackbeard raid. Like always. But, if you keep on going... As you can see, there's one new island. It's the Castle Island, I'm pretty sure. I don't know the exact name, but we're about to see the exact name. So, yeah. Let's just come over here real quick. Um, The name of the island is Ice Castle. Yes, I was right. Uh, this is the 400, the 130, 300... Wait, wait. 1,370 island. I'm not high enough level here yet. But for the Ice Admiral, which is I'm pretty sure the last... Uh, the last boss in the game at the moment. You need 1,400. You need to be level 1,400. The Ice Admiral drops something called a key. And it also drops most of the time 90, 9 to 11 candies. Uh, all the times that I've defeated him, he's dropped 11 candies. So, right now he's not here, so I can't really show you it because I already beat him. So I can't show you. So, yeah. Uh, but if we come in, this room is gonna have a door. It's gonna be a door locked room. And what you're gonna have to do is you're gonna have to defeat the ice admiral until you get a key whenever you get a key you can either choose to get the new sword just a demon slayer sword all you need to do is grab the key click on this and boom you're gonna get the sword i don't have the sword <laughs> and or you can come over here and click on this door if you click on this door you're gonna be able to come into this room and you're gonna see for you the reformed for the reformed can give you death step which is basically the evolution you could say yeah the evolution of dark step or black leg however you want to call it but to actually get it you first need to have 2.5 million money 2.5 million belly and 5,000 fragments this is what I was saying that I used my fragments on and that's why I don't have many fragment uh so yeah you need all of that and you also need to have max so 600 mastery on your dark step now i'm about to show you the attacks for this death step so the last one devil frames is basically diablo but better it just does the same thing that diablo does for dark step but it looks better just it kind of looks like Magma, you could say. So yeah, this is the first attack. The rocket kick. You, It's basically an agility attack and you leave that like crater. You can go pretty far with it. I'm also pretty sure that it's an AoE because of 
killed some people with it. And you can go pretty far with it. Let's just test out the range real quick. Every, any, anywhere that it hits, even if you don't hit a person, it's still gonna leave that crater. Yeah, you can go pretty far. Okay, so that's the first attack. This is the second attack. Wind bullet. You can just point with your mouse. This is also another AoE. You couldn't see it very well right there. But what it does is just that it shoots basically like a light bullet, but white. Let me show you it. You see? It does explosion damage and it launches people. It's also AoE. And here we have the last one. You can just, by the way, you can just hold this. Both of these, you can just hold them to just stay in the air. They don't do more damage for the longer you hold them. The range isn't that big for this wind bullet. And yeah, you can also hold rocket kick. It looks pretty cool whenever you hold it. But let's come over here. The range. It can get it from here, but if we just step a little bit more. A little bit more backward. All we need to do is kapow, and we're still gonna hit it, but, uh, let's end. Let me just dodge all his attacks. Okay, there. From right here, we wouldn't be able to get it, which is basically the same size as the Coliseum. Oh, we did get it. Uh, yeah, this is the same size as the Coliseum, so you can't do a full Coliseum hit. Let me just show this right here there there he is so that I can see him you see that doesn't hit him so and the last attack is vermilion drill it's basically the like bunch of hits attack for normal that right there it looks really cool like it looks really really cool also one other thing that I needed to add is Dragon is amazing for raids since it has one attack. Well, it has two attacks so you can kind of combine them. You can, because you can use all of Dragon's attack without having to be a dragon. But if you transform into a dragon, all of the attacks are going to be bigger and they're going to do more damage. So basically, like Buddha, you're going to have more HP, stuff like that. So one of the attacks is you transform into a dragon and then you do the attack called dragon rain dragon rain basically gets an entire island and it does a pretty good amount of damage so you can just hold it and keep on doing it over and over in a raid and you can just finish islands really quickly that way um let's see if i can get my double fruit now so Run fruit, bye. There, I got ice fruit. You can get pretty, pretty good fruit from this, uh, from the devil fruit merchant, from the random devil fruit buyer. Like, I've gotten OP before from the devil fruit buyer. I've gotten a lot of good fruits, like, I've gotten control, I've gotten paw, I've gotten rumble, phoenix. No, I haven't gotten string. I've gotten quake barrier all kind of stuff <laughs> but i've also gotten shop a lot of times too but yeah you can get pretty good stuff from there like you see ice fruit he's got this ice fruit which i am gonna use if you didn't know you can use fruits as basically raid equipment you could say so yeah, I'm going to use that in a bit, but yeah, that's the video, the entire video. I'll see you guys in the next video.